I'm freelance cartoonist Fiona Kataskis, filling in for Mike Bowers, and I've snuck into the historic Batten Ball Hotel for an early opening drink with a man whose finger is always on the pulse. Blogger for The Australian, Jack the Insider. Morning, Jack. G'day, Fiona. Delighted to be here with you this morning. The Prime Minister's uh, focus was on Western Sydney this week. She did touch on the issue of uh, gang violence in Western Sydney, and uh, Mark Knight has picked up on this beautifully in The Herald Sun uh, with his aunt Rudy Hill. Careful, dear, the Prime Minister is right. Gangs are fighting for control of Sydney's west. <laughs> it's a beautiful little cartoon. Well, the doof doof music working in the background, the hotted up cars and a bit of glare in the traffic, uh, which is something people of Western Sydney are yeah. pretty much used to. Um, yeah, it's a lovely little cartoon that way. Yeah, way. absolutely. I do like the... Uh, she, she's got the oh, right... Uh, yeah, she's got the... She's giving him the fist. And uh, Peter Nicholson here, he took the L out of Novotel and it's... No yes, vote. he's done very well there with the play on words. Uh, yes, indeed, no vote. And probably sums up the week. And he's got uh, the Prime Minister here saying, the omens look good. How many votes do you reckon we won today? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he says the L hits the deck. Uh, no vote. The Prime Minister wasn't the only one in, in Western Sydney. Uh, Tony Abbott also went for a visit here and, and uh, to Clean Up Australia. Mm, Both that's right. Both possibly... Uh, metaphorically as well as literally. This photograph from The Australian has Peter Credlin, uh, Tony Abbott's chief, chief of staff, here um, mopping, at, mopping at the back of his head. Well, it looks like she's either seen something objectionable uh, on, a, on the car there or she's found something growing out of Tony Abbott's ear. Um, it's just hard to tell. <laughs> Now, Jack, they say there's safety in numbers, which uh, may explain the Labor's focus on the 457 visas this week. David Rowe took us into mm. the dark and magical places of his mind. Ms Hanson has poked her head up and said that she approved of Julia Gillard's uh, 457 clampdown. So, um, a a a astonishing stuff. Um, astonishing stuff. Rule-breaking stuff, yes. Well, David Rowe has broken some rules himself, offering a xenophobia with chips, a xenophobia <laughs> wrap and a xeno burger. A lovely. I hadn't noticed yes. that. It's beautiful. Yes. yes, I don't think I'd like to uh, eat at David Rowe's restaurant, but... Uh... <laughs> well, you do get chips. You do get chips. <laughs> and we have uh, Jeremy Piper from The Australian has uh, this lovely shot of the Prime Minister. What, what do you reckon she's saying there, Jack? Uh, does your husband bowl leg spin? Um, <laughs> because... Uh, we can get you, uh, get him into the side uh, to play Mahali uh, next week. Here. Slightly unconvinced, do you think? Yeah, they, they look a little baffled. Perhaps they don't know that much about leg spin. <laughs> Someone who seems to be popular with the people and the uh, gentleman of Gentlemen's Quarterly is mm. uh, Malcolm Turnbull, who has a rather glamorous photo shoot in uh, this, this month's GQ. Yeah, reminiscent of the Paul Keating uh, photo shoot in Rolling Stone. Unfortunately, they haven't done one of him uh, lounging on a chaise lounge with someone popping bonbons into his mouth, because that's kind of where he is at the moment politically. But this is wonderful here. It does um, look like he's saying, I'm just going to pretend Scott Morrison never said that. <laughs> I think he is so relaxed at the moment yeah. as a politician that he can sleep standing But he's up. also so relaxed that he can have an outrageously clashing tie and shirt. Uh, as always, Jack, it is a tremendous pleasure having you on Talking Pictures and uh, would you like to do the honours? On your Fiona. It's back to you, Barry. <laughs>